What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Breezy. Show my shot, Chris Tweezy. Now, look, Thunder at Raptors. And Toronto's been giving away free win after free win after free win. We're going to see if they're going to decide to fight back today, I guess. I guess we're going to see if they're going to decide to fight back today. I got my water on deck. I just woke up from a nap. I'm feeling kind of rejuvenated. Kind of rejuvenated. Um, I guess they are fighting back. They're starting up 7 0. They still have no Scotty Barnes, no RJ Barrett, no Manuel Quickly. All right, they're not trying to win. <laughs> Raptors trying to get Montez Buzelli's, bro. Raptors trying to tank some more. They're trying to get Rob Dillingham. I'm not going to lie. They low-key need to send Rob Dillingham to the uh, to the Toronto Raptors. He's having too much fun, man. <laughs> he a little too lit, man. He a little too lit. I'm not going to lie. He took my celebrity crush. Might have to send this man to the Toronto Raptors. All right, my bad. Let me lock in. Yeah. Shay back in Canada. Let's be honest, bro. Raptors got no chance. Raptors have absolutely no chance. Raptors got FedEx workers playing. They got FedEx workers starting. Like, I could see having 10-day contracts coming off the bench. Bro, they got 10-day contracts starting. Was I supposed to get lit over there? I mean, it was decent. It wasn't like, get up out my seat good. Grady Posteriser. Oh, my gosh, bro. Now, see, if you would have dunked on Shay, if you would have dunked on Shay, I would have been with you. I would have been lit, too. A Grady poster on Shay would have fed families. Hello. Bro, Lou Dort is trolling. Lou Dort is a whole NBA player, and he cannot dunk the ball. Nah, you trolling me. You trolling me. <laughs> Grady about to have a career high? He's got like five points or seven points already. That might be a career high. I'm not even trying to be funny. But as somebody who's seen like most of the Toronto Raptors season, I'm telling you that might be a career high. <laughs> I'm telling you that might be a career high for Grady. Oh, man, they got Jordan Nwori. You know, Jordan Nwori off that bench. They got Jordan Nwori think he's Jamal Crawford off the bench, bro. They let Jordan Nwori take all the shots off the bench. He be trying anything. Tween, spin, fader. That should have been an and one. How is OKC losing? Like, OKC beats everybody, and Toronto loses to everybody. Like, they just let somebody with the number 37 score. Like, the number 37. The number 37 is literally reserved for Walmart employees, bro. Walmart employees of the month are the only people that get the number 37. That's Jonte Porter. I didn't even know who that was. I thought he was just a normal G League player. Apparently, he's a G League player, but Michael Porter Jr. is his brother. So that's why he's in the NBA or something. 40 to 37. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Josh Giddy. Go ahead, shoot you a three. Fiji Water. Okay. Okay. Things are finally going back to normal. Things are finally going back to normal. I don't know why Toronto. No, nah, okay. So you got to do better, bro. This is unacceptable. Mark got a Mark got to yell at the team, bro. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Do a little something, but Mark got to hype this team up. This team not really hype enough to play. Thank you. J Dub came in there putting in energy. Hello, J Dub came in here ready to play. I don't know what happened the whole first quarter, bro. But this team was not ready to play at all. J Dub get another steal. Bruce Brown not ready to play. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm watching Kelly Olynyk, Bruce Brown. And Garrett Temple, big three, compete against the OKC Thunder. Somebody pinch me. Real talk. Somebody pinch me. I'm about to throw up. What am I watching? This starting five should never be an NBA starting five. Like this, these five people Toronto has on the court should never be on the court at the same time for one team. During the actual game, maybe if it was like, maybe if the game was over and, and they put the scrubs in and they put the bench warmers in, this lineup would be okay. This lineup should never be okay. The Raptors got to get, I'm not going to lie, the Raptors got to get investigated for tanking. <laughs> Raptors got to get investigated for purposely tanking games, bro. You're not even telling me this is the best the G League has to offer. Like, you got your players getting their ankles broken by Chet Holmgren. And Chet Holmgren can dribble, though. Yeah, let's go, Giddy. Lead the fast break. Just lob it up to J-Dub or something. Just lob it up. Good pass. J-Dub. Easy and win. And they're not calling the fouls. But you're not telling me that you can't make a better starting five out of players not in the NBA right now. Like, give me Jamal Crawford. Tween. Pull up. Fiji. Hello. 
<laughs> Hello. But Jamal Crawford, Sharif Cooper. Uh oh. Grady getting a little Grady getting a little extra, isn't he? <laughs> Grady getting a little hold on, Grady getting a little confidence, isn't he? But like I was saying, Jamal Crawford, Sharif Cooper, Amani Bates, like Kimball Walker, like come on bro. I can name five players better than better than the Worst five players on the Raptors. I can name five players better than most of the players on the Raptors right now. Give me that. Just beat his shot like a volleyball. Just beat his shot like a volleyball. Spin back. Anyway, J Dub, good pass. Chat. Fiji. Water. Yep, that's team chemistry right there. Beautiful. Just like that, up by 20. <laughs> Just like that, up by 20. As soon as OKC decided to play for real, up by 20. See, that's the difference between me and the OKC Thunder, though. I guess they just they just kind of tired of the season. They're ready to go to the playoffs. But me, I would have came out here. I would have been playing for real since the first quarter. If I was Shay, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm getting 50 tonight, bro. They got straight Waffle House employees playing, bro. If you think I'm not getting 50, I might try to break Luka 73. Oh! Isaiah? Joe? Shout out my boy Isaiah Joe. I didn't even know he could get up like that. Apparently he can but if I was Jay, I'm trying to break Luka 73. I'm trying to get like 80 points like Kobe did. I'm trying to get like 75 at least, bro. Because, look, this isn't even re a real NBA team. This is the perfect team to run your stats up against. Like, if Shea drops 75, the MVP award is his. He doesn't even need to play the rest of the season. If he drops 75 points tonight, I mean, most likely the MVP award already is his. But, you know, they got him and Jokic right here. People can't decide. If he would have dropped 75 points tonight, and this would have been the easiest 75 points he could ever drop. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Who's going to stop him? Jordan Aurora? Grady? Garrett Temple? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Half the team I can't even name. They're making three pointers off the backboard. Let's be for real. Yeah, Shea definitely could have went from 70. Shea at least could have went for like 45. You're not telling me Shea can't get 45. 96, 88. While I'm doing all this talking, bro. Okay, see, so can slick lose. Hold on. <laughs> okay, see, so you better not embarrass me, okay, see. Okay, see, so you better not lose to these Krispy Kreme donut, donut factory workers, bro. <laughs> okay, see, so thank you, bro. See, I'm telling you, as long as y'all, as long as y'all just do the bare minimum, you guys won't lose, bro. Thank you. 109.95, pull up three. Gordon, Fiji, water, hello. 112.95, yeah, that should be good, right? I'm pretty sure that should be good. That should be enough. OJ Abaji turning into Kyrie Irving is so random. <laughs> OJ Abaji hitting him with Kyrie Irving type of handles and... And footwork is so random. Dunk on somebody, Shay. Hello. Shay just looked like he not trying at all. <laughs> like he went to Canada and he was more concerned about spending time with his family, which makes sense. But Shay just out there doing the bare minimum, bro. Shay could be out there dropping 50. Come on, bro. What's wrong with you, dude? What's wrong with you, dude? Just let him get the windmill. Who is this? Number 16, I've never seen you before. I don't know your name. You got a headband over your dreads, bro. I don't know you, bro. Case and Wallace was a top 10 lottery pick, bro. You was probably a top 10 pick in the Waffle House All-Star League. Come on, man. Stop playing with me, bro. Just let him get the windmill. He's still going to score. Now you look stupid. <laughs> you putting in all that hustle for no reason, bro. Go back to working at Taco Bell, bro. At least Baskin Robbins, bro. Get you a little comfy job in the mall working at Auntie Annie's or something. I don't know. <sighs> anyway. Anyway. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell you guys, that was down below. My peace. Stay breathing.